Yo, what is up YouTube? Lee the Captain here, back again with another YouTube video on a tutorial on how to change the battery on your Nissan key fob. And to access the key fob, what you want to do is you want to turn it back. Then you will see a slider like this. And what you want to do is you want to pull the slider. Then it will allow you to take out this key. And then what you want to take is a flathead screwdriver, much like this one. And you will pry open the case. And to pry open the case, if you see there's this gap right here, what you want to do is you want to put your flathead screwdriver, put it in here, and slowly pry it open. When it comes to the amount of force that is required to pry open the key fob with the screwdriver, it totally depends on how often you've opened the key fob before and how old the key fob is. I remember personally the first time I opened up this key fob, it required me to use a lot more force than I typically do now. However, that was perfectly normal since it hadn't been opened up before. And yeah, when opening it, just use your feeling and take into account how often it's been opened up before and the age of your key. So to open the case, I start off with my screwdriver at that gap right there, and I just slowly try to pry it open like so. Then you just wanna to start to the left once you've opened the right-hand side. Once you hear that click, you just want to gently press it open and there, boom, there you go. The case is opened. And once it's open like this, what I do is I put this circuit board down here. Then it reveals the battery. And to take out the battery from the case, you want to use the flathead screwdriver again and just pry it open like this. There you go. And the battery that is used is the CR2025. You can buy a packet of these for $5 on Amazon. And if you take a look at the case, there is a plus sign and you want to match it with the plus sign on the battery. So you want to place it down where the plus sign is touching the other plus sign. So you want to place it down like that. There you go. And to put the case back together, I first want to start off with the circuit board and put it right here. And you want to make sure the buttons are in the holes and that the shape is matching. As you can see, it's kind of angling downwards here and I'm putting it like that. Then what I want to do is take the top part and do this. And what you want to do is you want to just squeeze it until you hear it click. And boom, there you go. After you're all set, you put the key back in the case like so. And there you go. It is done. And that's been it for today's YouTube video. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the tutorial and go ahead and like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I also make a lot of other YouTube videos on cryptocurrencies. So if you love cryptos and you're into cryptos, go ahead and check out my other YouTube videos. I would greatly appreciate that as well. It's been Lee the Captain and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.